Hey, what's going on everyone? I am going to show you a alternate way to do your wiring on your VK swap. Um, common consensus is you have to use your alternator and starter sub harness off of your Xterra or Frontier in order to wire things up properly because on the Xterra and the Frontier, your starter sits down here, so your starter and alternator come up into one plug that plugs in over here on the side of the fuse box. On the VK, because the starter is actually in the back, its power wire, as well as your oil pressure sensor, run through the main harness and come up here where these plugs go in to the IPDM box and that power wire and the oil pressure wire run through there and are separate. So the common way to do this is you take your Xterra sub harness, you open it up, you pull out some wiring, you adjust some wiring, and then everything plugs in. Another way you can do this is what I have done. So your power wire and your ground wire run down out of this junction, like I said, into the IPDM box. And inside the IPDM box, there is actually a plug. Ah, here we go. That's gonna look like this. And that is what your power wire to your starter plugs into. And then your oil pressure sensor wire actually comes down into this plug right next to that blue and yellow wire, yellow with a blue stripe. And that's where your oil pressure sensor goes in. On the Xterra, they go into this plug. And this is on the outside of the fuse box and plugs right into the top like that. So what I did was I took back here at this junction, rather than letting the power wire and the oil pressure wire run down into here, I opened this loom up back to right here. I separated the power wire and the ground, or excuse me, the oil pressure wire, starter power wire and oil pressure wire into its own little sub harness. And what I did is I simply depinned the main starter wire out of its connector right here that would plug in to that piece. Those two plug in together. This is inside the IPDM box. This is the power wire from the Titan or VK swap that would plug into that. I simply unpinned it from that and repinned it into the Xterra. Then I took the same thing, the oil pressure sensor wire that runs down in here. I brought it back up out of this loom and ran it down with that power wire and plugged it into here. Now this one, unfortunately, the pins are different, so you can't simply unpin it and plug the existing pin into this harness. So I just came back up to here inside this loom I made and I cut and spliced it together back up in here, soldered it, heat shrunk it. Do it the right way if you're gonna do it. For the oil pre or excuse me, for the alternator wires. So there's three wires that come off the alternator here that run up through the VK sub harness and come to this little plug right here. This is gonna sit on the side of the fuse box, just like this up in the bay. And then these run out and go back into the uh, body harness, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is simply take this plug, which pops off, and I am going to tap those in. There's three wires on it. I'm gonna tap those in to the three wires for the alternator off of the Xterra plug. One, two, three, pink, yellow, blue. And on this one, there is a brown and white, a yellow, and a yellow and black. I'll check my wiring diagram and figure those out. That will end up spliced just like this. So then I have this entire separate little pigtail that comes off and it goes into the Xterra plug with the starter wire, the oil pressure sensor. It'll have this plug on the end, which will be able to just simply plug right in to the VK alternator sub harness. Makes it super easy. The reason I am putting this in, this plug, rather than just splicing the wires together like this and running that in, is so that if I ever do need to replace this sub harness for the alternator for whatever reason, it simply unplugs right there and that entire sub harness is separate still. But everything is gonna be in a nice little wire loom right here and this will all be ready to go 
to simply plug in to the stock Xterra plug off the side of the fuse box. So that's an alternate way to do your wiring for an Xterra or Frontier VK swap rather than using the entire sub harness with the starter and alternator that you have to pull apart and then rerun a new or rerun the wiring to hook up to the starter correctly. This is just a simple way to make it all into one. It comes right off the factory harness and it will look completely factory when it's done. Plug, plug, and you're done. Hope that helps, guys.